everyone and welcome back to my channel it feels like forever since i've sat down and filmed i know i feel like i say that all the time but honestly i think it's good where like i film like a batch of videos and then i kind of just like daddle around like go to work blah 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 and then i sit down and film another batch i feel like i've not done that in a while so anyway welcome to a very 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 requested so my camera just kindly cut off so thank you so much and um, but as i was saying welcome to a very 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 requested video i can't believe how many times people have asked me to do this so here it is i don't know why i haven't done it i just feel like maybe because i don't know i don't know why i've done it because maybe because what i think would be like a date night makeup or like first date makeup is going to be completely different to what someone else would wear because I don't know it's just whatever you feel comfortable with isn't it so this is going to be what I would typically do for a date night or a first date um obviously I've got boyfriend nothing's changed there don't worry but this is just requested and this is typically what I would do what I would feel comfortable with so I think that's like the main vibe that I'd want to get across just do anything that you feel comfortable with because there is nothing worse than following someone's tutorial going out and just really not feeling yourself being conscious just do whatever feels right and whatever you're comfortable with and you will feel the best version of yourself that you can if you know what i mean so we're going to jump in to the video and yes i know i look naked and i feel like every time someone says this they do say don't worry i'm wearing a top but i'm actually not wearing a top i just have a bra on so kind of that's the tea that is the tea so anyway right i'm gonna start by prepping my skin with my ysl primer and um, this is so nice on the skin and for like my date night makeup i will just literally wear whatever i'm comfortable with so like oranges browns something a little bit smoky maybe a little bit of shimmer nothing too too heavy because i don't want to look like whoa like over the top do you know what i mean um it's just not me but then again everyone's different so this is like a harder video to film because everyone's different I feel like an actual egg i do have hair i promise um okay so this is the makeup that i would do so i'm gonna go in with my tarlet in bloom palette because this has got every color that i need i'm gonna go in with like a brownie maybe deepen it up and then just tap like a little bit of shimmer onto the lid nothing too in your face and ott um but yeah let's get cracking so i'm gonna just prime my eye with my laura mercia concealer I feel like it's been a while since I've reached for this concealer. So, eye makeup. I'm just gonna take, like I said, that like neutral warm brown and just run this through my quick oh, through my quiz. And I'm just gonna keep this like really tight to my like crease and just really really blend it out and make it really really soft. I personally wouldn't wear too much makeup on a first date just i don't know like you want to look like you made an effort but you don't want to look too over the top i know you know you do get those boys that are like oh i feel like i about makeup and it's like hun we don't do it for you anyway so what are you going on about um but yeah do you you want to wear full beat wear full beat I just like something smoky that I feel a little bit sexy. I do like my eyes quite dark because I feel like it makes my like the blue of them pop. Um, but then I wouldn't want to go too dark. It depends where you're going. It depends what you're doing. Obviously, if it's like a nighttime thing, you can go more glam, I'd say. And then daytime, maybe not as glam. But again, personal preference. So it's like completely up to you. I mean, my first date advice is probably like, you know, all this had the common things. Make sure you know, make sure you tell someone who, you, like, where you're going and who you're going with. Um, make sure, yeah, make sure people know where you are. Make sure it's in a public place. If it's the first time you're meeting, you know, just common things. Obviously, people, you don't know who's actually who in this world, unfortunately. Um, 
just be really careful if you're meeting someone new that's like my advice and just be yourself have fun if you don't like it you don't have to like if you don't like if you're not feeling it then you don't have to see them again that's not an issue don't feel guilty just enjoy yourself while you're there and then go home and say it wasn't for me simple as that um, so now I'm just going to deepen it with like another colour and I'm just going to like focus it on the outer corner of my eye and then I probably won't go much darker, it depends, it depends how this looks. I don't want to go too dark on my eye, I don't normally go too dark, um, like I like it a bit smoky but nothing too crazy. And you guys will probably be like, oh my god, Amy, like, we've seen you do that makeup so many times. That's mm, probably because I've always been getting ready and going on a date. Um, I say a date, but you know what I mean, going out with Sam. Um, oh my god, what was that just laying in? Just put concealer all over my eyelid. Is there any coming back from that? I'm not too sure. And then I will literally probably just get like a plain brush plain brush i mean like a clean brush and there's like this gold shade and i'm literally just gonna dab like the tiniest bit of shimmer with the brush just so it gets like a cleaner edge and then i'm just gonna take a bit on my finger and just like tap it over like it really doesn't need to be it's just like there but not there do you know what i mean like and that is literally it for the eyes i'm gonna do the rest of my face and then we can apply the lashes after because I can't be bothered to move because I'm lazy. So, for my skin. So, I like to be full coverage. We all know that. I'm a full coverage queen. But I feel like on a first date, I don't want to be too much. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm confident in myself and I'm confident in the makeup that I wear. But then at the same time, I don't want to seem like too much. I don't want to see, I just want to look pretty. I just want to look pretty. So I get um, smile line creases, hence why I have had filler there in the part like earlier this year, which has actually stayed like, I don't get creases that much anymore. Um, so I don't like to put too much make, like too much foundation on to the point where it really, really shows my creases. But what I am going to do, I've not tried this before, but I'm going to mix my HD and my Charlotte Tilbury together. Just like a tiny bit of each. And apply that over my face. Um, obviously over my face. Where else would I be applying that? Um, I'm going to go in with my Becca Shimmering Skin. You guys know how much I love this. It is honestly my favouritest thing in the entire world. I don't even know if favouritest is a word. But it is now. Um, because it describes exactly how I feel about this product. It is, it is just the best. Like, there's, there's no other words for it, really. If you want a shimmery base, you need that. You need it. Like, there's no two ways about it. You need that. So, I'm going to take, like, a little pump of my HD. This one's quite thick. And I think the airbrush one is quite thin. Like, not thin, but thinner than this so I'm just gonna make sure that it's like evenly spaced because basically the HD foundation is my favorite foundation to date however this is creeping up slowly behind it so I'm thinking if I mix them both plus the HD one that I've got is a bit too uh, dark for me and the Charlotte Tilbury one is I feel like the perfect color so if we mix them both we may just come up with my new favourite foundation combo ever. So I'm just going to take my brush and it just start to dab that into my face. <laughs> Stipple that in. I don't know how girls do like these makeup tutorials when they're all glam with like their like fancy earrings in. Like, and then there's me like just pull my earring out the way. Okay, so that actually looks really nice. Do you need to just go in and blend? Okay, I really like that. We have to ignore my neck because we're in this weird transition like point in our lives where 
the natural tan is like nearly gone don't want a fake tan yet because that's like a the longest commitment ever and i just want to wear a brown foundation because i like looking browner than i am um so we're just gonna blend it so that looks pretty awesome if i'm honest like that's a nice coverage for me and i like the fact that i've mixed the two together because the hd has a really nice like glowy luminous luminosity to it whereas the airbrush one is quite matte so i love that right so we're gonna go in and cream contour now i never used to do this but i feel like this is a game changer so if you don't do this try it because it is a game changer so i'm just gonna cream contour and then i will go in with my bronzer and i feel like this is definitely something that i would want to do on a date well i do do I do do I do do um I do do on my <laughs> I do on my dates with Sam because it just it just looks so much nicer and if you want to get I mean on a first date you're probably not going to get a picture with the other person I mean unless it's going like really well I mean I know that I probably wouldn't on a first date ask for a picture um but you might get a picture of yourself before you're going I really 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 like cream contouring is basically what i'm trying to say and i feel like for first date makeup you need to cream contour so i'm really enjoying how those two foundations are working together also cream go over your jaw and then go over it again with your foundation brush because i feel like it just hides the chin a little bit you know that's if you have one which i certainly do because i love cakes and i love food and i love everything edible chocolate anything can't help myself can't say no that's why i will never be skinny that's why i have got junk in my trunk so i'm now going to go in with my highlighter highlighter this is not highlighter this is concealer and um, this is my Laura Mercier one and I feel like this is not that brightening under the eye I feel like I haven't picked this up in a while and I feel like this is why because currently I'm loving the like under eye brightness like I'm loving like looking very fresh faced uh, that's not that much lighter either but we'll go with it and I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender as always to blend this in. God, those foundations look lovely together. Wow wee. Wow wee. Um, also, eyelashes is definitely a personal preference. I personally don't wear eyelashes unless it's like a... I, I mean, I guess at date night, yeah, I'll be wearing eyelashes. Date day... I will probably just wear mascara. I have got the most problematic eyes ever. Like, they water so much. It's a joke. So, I feel like maybe on a first date, if you've got really watery eyes, maybe don't go for eyelashes. You know, because sometimes if it's windy and your eyes are going to water, your eyelash might start flapping off. I don't know. It might be a bit uncomfortable. Just bear that in mind if you have watery eyes. Also, pardon me, oh my god, don't do that on the first date. <laughs> um, also, if you have got watery eyes and you have a solution, please let me know because I have the worst watery eyes ever. So I'm going to now set under my eye and of course I'm going to use my Laura Mercier um, powder and I'm just going to Put this like right under my eye to catch the crease in and then i don't want my face to be like too powdery so i'm literally just going to put it in my t-zone which is my like problem area like i always always get oily throughout the day but obviously you can take powder and whatever with you and top up if you need to um so i'm just going to then brush all of that off and I like this because it doesn't take away like too much luminosity from 
the foundation. Like, I've not got highlight. Oh my god, my nose ring has like completely twisted itself out. And like, I've not got glow on, and I still look like a bit dewy, healthy, glowy. So I'm now going to go in with my bronzer. So for that, I use my Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and I think because you have got the bronzer underneath, you don't need to apply it too much. Bounce it along those cheeks just to get a nice chiseled look. Like, you want to be careful with this because you've got the cream contour under there. You don't want to make it look muddy. You just want it to look nice and bronzy. And I feel like by bouncing it, it disturbs the product less, if you know what I mean. And I love that because it's got like a slight shimmer in it as well. So it's just like glowy. I love bronzers that aren't completely matte these days. Um, I just really, really am enjoying them. Okay, so now moving on to highlighter. I don't want to be too in your face. I don't know. This is, Again, this is just my typical go-to date night makeup. I literally just take like a tiny bit on a brush. This is the Estee Lauder, um, what is this? Uh, Bronze Goddess Heat Wave. This is so nice. It's like, it's quite, it like just kind of melts on the skin. It, it doesn't go too like crazy, if you know what I mean. Like, you know, some highlighters can be, as soon as you put them on, they're like, whoa. Like my Ofra and um, Rodeo Drive is like, whoa. Like that is a highlighter and a half. This one's a little bit more subtle and I feel like you can build it up if you want to. Um, so I will then, if I can find my brush, that's not it, but it will do. Um, take a little bit into my inner corner and below my brow bone. And then I will actually also take that shimmer shade from the palette that I put on the lid and just take a smaller, more detailed brush and just like apply that right to the center of like right, right to my inner corner just to give it an extra pop. I feel like doing it that way just makes such a difference. I might just zoom you in just a little bit, just for a little bit closer. Um, like I said, this was just like a get ready, like a get ready um, date night makeup look um i need to tilt this oh my god i'm the worst ah! okay because my head wasn't actually in it and i did look bald um so now i'm gonna go in blush i really really love like i said like a fresh rosy look really bright um so i'm gonna go with my feeling peachy blush i feel like a lot of people say that they don't wear black i can feel her hair yeah, I feel like a lot of people say that they don't wear blush. And admittedly, I never used to. Like, I feel like if you look back to my tutorials, I never used to wear a blush. And then things changed. I think when I tried California, maybe. No, I used to wear gingerly blush all the time, actually. What am I talking about? MAC Gingerly was my OG blusher. If you guys are like an OG OG, then you'll know that you used to use gingerly blusher. And you couldn't really notice it at all in... It, like you just couldn't really notice it that much, but now I want a blusher that you can see. So I'm wearing I am blah, 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 feeling peachy HMB. Um, so I just kind of sweep and then dot. Sweep and then dot. And if you ever do feel like you've gone a little bit OT, just grab your powder brush and just dab over it. And it will just kind of really, really soften that. Now I think we'll move on to brows. Um, I'm just going to take a bit of my um, Benefit Precisely My Brow. And like I said, I don't do too much with my brows now. I'm kind of into the more natural, like, natural vibe. Like, I don't like the really, really drawn on eyebrows anymore. I think with certain looks, they're nice. But... For my like everyday, I'm just all about these like fluffier ones. I just kind of try and neaten the underneath of it so it's a bit more like structured. Um, and then again, I'll just go over this tail area just to give it a little bit more structure. 
and then i'm just gonna brush it all through and do the other brow so really not a lot of product um but obviously if you do your eyebrows like thicker and darker and you like them like that then don't just do this because i'm doing this do what you will feel like the most confident with because that is all that matters at the end of the day this is just a like easy i feel like this is quite an easy like faultless um tutorial like a classic smoky eye we're not doing any hard like cut creases or anything like that it's literally just two different shades on the lid blended together and then patting on a little bit of shimmer over the top that's literally all i have done so i'm gonna go with my anastasia clear brow gel now i always apply a brow gel i think it makes the hairs look hairier plus you can like brush them up and just make them a lot fluffier which i like i said am loving at the moment um so now we're going to move on to the under eye and then lips for the under eye i want to keep it nice and tight and smoky i want to keep the shape like rounded and i just want to use the two same colors that i used up top down below so again it's super super easy super simple um and basically just like flipping what i did so i'm gonna take the first shade which is like that lighter tan shade and i'm taking it on a really small brush so that i can be really precise with it and i'm just gonna run this along my lash line i'm in two minds whether to put lashes on with this because i feel like it works with both so well like I might do both, like one apply lash and then one not, and just show you how you don't need to wear lashes to be glam. Um, especially if it's something that you're not used to or you don't wear lashes and you're not comfortable. You don't have to wear lashes on a date. Like, Okay, so then we're going to go in with that darker shade. I'm just going to try and keep it a little bit tighter to the lash line. Just really almost like colour in your waterline with this. And that is basically it. My eyes do look quite dark. Um, I'm going to apply my all-time favourite lip gloss and lip liner. So you guys will know this. I go for stripped down liner and I line my lip. But I also go like a little bit inner as well. Because I don't really wear lipstick. I just kind of wear liner and gloss. Because I always get that line on the inside of my lip. And it's something that I feel like throughout the day I am conscious of when I'm wearing makeup. I'm like, oh my god, I really don't want to get that line. Like, it's like the line. The phobia of the line. The fear of the line. And I feel like it can look very unattractive. It doesn't look very nice at all. So that's one thing that maybe if you do find that you get that throughout the day and you don't want to be conscious of it on the date then maybe just go for lip liner and then a nice gloss over the top because i feel like this way you get the effect of nice plump and nice lips but then you're not getting that horrible line throughout the day so i just apply my gloss and this is my fenty glow gloss bomb favorite 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 gloss ever ever invented ever i love that so 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 much first things first if you're not going to go for eyelashes and you're not an eyelash girl then you're going to need some eyelash curlers to curl those bad boy lashes of yours so i'm just going to go in with my lash curlers any lash curlers will do i feel like some people say that some brands are better but for me i feel like a lash curler is a lash curler they will essentially do the same thing. You put your lash in, you can squeeze it, and it curls your lashes. Um, so I feel like it doesn't matter if they're like not the most expensive because I feel like they all do the same thing. Um, so yeah, make sure you do the lash curling without mascara because if you saw my um, unboxing video of like or like mini haul video, then you would have saw me get my eyelashes stuck. And I know that sometimes it can rip lashes out, so definitely do it with no mascara on. So I'm now just going to go in with my MAC Extended Play, which is like my most adored um, mascara ever. I love this mascara so much. I feel like I've tried others, but then I just always come back to this one. And you can spend however long you want to doing your mascara, getting it as thick and black and long as you like them. 
and then obviously go ahead and do the bottom as well for now i'm going to choose some lashes i'm going to go with my favorite ones of the time because if i was going on a date tonight these are what i'll probably be reaching for these are the missy luscious lashes um obviously from luscious lashes on instagram absolutely love these i need to get some more because I've worn these so many times and they're, I mean, they're holding up, but you know when you're like, I need a backup for when they eventually do die because I've been reaching for them so much. Um, so I definitely need to get a backup of these. So just apply my glue. I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on so that it will blend nicely when I um, apply it. So just a really thin coating because you don't want it to like separate your other like the lashes you literally just want like, a thin coating of it applying with tweezers is probably easier i find um but we can do without so pop your lash on also if it's a new pair of lashes make sure you measure them to your eye because some eyelashes are made so big and so long that they can like be way too big for a lot of eye shapes and you don't want your eye to look like it's like drooping or i don't know you just don't want it to look odd or like droopy or too big for your eye if that makes sense so i'm just gonna apply my mascara to my bottom lash again and this is basically my finished go-to day night look a nice soft smoky eye Glam, full coverage, face looking healthy, glowy, not too much, but you've got a nice glam look. And obviously I've got no lash on this eye and I think it looks just as good as the side with the lash. Like I honestly don't think you need to wear lashes. You do not need to wear lashes. So this is like an an all alternative way so if you are a lash girl then go put your lashes on and if you're not a lash girl then don't you worry because mascara looks just as good with this eye look so anyway i hope this was enjoyable i hope you found this helpful and maybe got a little insight or maybe you followed this for a day if so then good luck i hope your day goes well um message me on instagram and let me know if you did follow this for a day let me know how the date went I want to know, I want to know, and I also want to see what you, like, how you did it, tag me in your pictures, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all very soon for another video, thank you so much for watching, and I love you all so, so, so much, and good luck on your date.